So let's do this one. Um, it's one of these empirical formula ones. So it says, what is the empirical formula of an ingredient in buffering tablets that has the percent composition of carbon at 14.25%, oxygen at 56.93%, and magnesium at 28.83% by mass? Okay, so notice those are percentages by mass, okay? So let's write down what we've got. So it says percent mass of carbon is 14.25%. Percent mass of oxygen <coughs> is 56.93%. And then the percent mass of magnesium is 28.83%. Okay, so this is percent, percent of what, you know, who knows how much mass you might have started out with. Um, so because you don't know that, the way I do it is just to set it all equal to 100 grams of unknown, okay? So if we do that, if we say the mass of the unknown equals 100 grams, like that, is everybody okay with what I'm doing so far? What is the mass of carbon going to be? 14.25, okay, is everybody okay with that? So if you do that, it really helps out a lot, okay? So let's just do that first step. When we do that, can I just do that and not have to go over the working out of it and say grams of carbon, grams of oxygen, grams of magnesium, like that? Is everybody okay with that? Okay, so the next thing we want to do is to, well, we've got to figure out the formula, so we've got to put it in those whole number ratios, okay? But we can't do it by ratios of mass because the things weigh different, right? So we've got to do it ratios of moles, okay? It's like, you know, like a broken record every time we're converting things to moles, okay? So, grams to moles, we know that, that's the atomic mass of these atoms, right? So. Um, or the molar mass, I should say. So in carbon's case, 12.01 grams of carbon per one mole of carbon. Oxygen, 16.0 grams of oxygen for one mole of oxygen. And for magnesium, what is it, 34, no, 34.1, 1, 2. 1, 2. 24.31. So, everybody's cool with that, right? And then you just cancel. Cancel. Okay, and we get our number of moles from 100 grams of total, right? So let's just do it together. 14.25 divided by 12.01. And you guys can help me out if you want. 1.1865. And I'm just going to go out to a bunch of digits, not that it matters, because we're just going to cut them all off when we show the molecular form. Okay, so 56.93 divided by 16. 3.558. And then uh, the moles of magnesium, 28.83 divided by 24.31. What'd you get? 1.18. Okay, so already, hopefully, you guys can see that something's going to happen, right? What do you guys see? Copper, or carbon and magnesium are going to be what? The same number of carbon and magnesiums in this compound. How did I figure that out? 
because they got the same number of moles. Okay. So what are we going to do now? We're going to uh, just uh, take our molecular formula, Mg x c y o z like that and we're going to figure out what x y and z are okay how do we do that well we take we look here and look for the smallest ratio okay or the smallest number right which one's the smallest well this one really right but effectively these two are the same so it's going to be magnesium 0.18 Five nine divided by one point one eight five nine. Um, carbon. Put one point one eight five nine at the bottom. Three point five five eight. And oxygen. So it must be a yes. base. What kind of base? Yep. You guys cool with that? Okay. You guys can. Did any questions more on this type of problem? Yeah. If we hadn't gotten a whole number, then we can. Yeah, then you're going to multiply through. Multiply through. The whole thing? Uh -huh. like All of them, yes. Okay. okay. We'll, we'll try an example with that. Okay. Any questions on this particular problem? Everybody cool with this type of thing? You will have some on the exam, so make sure you're okay with it. Okay. 